Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing the citric acid cycle. Okay, so, uh, so far we've got to the stage where we have a molecule of fumarate in the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Okay, so, what we're now trying to do is return our fumarate molecule back to an oxaloacetate molecule. So remember, uh, we start by combining acetyl-CoA with an oxaloacetate molecule. We then degrade the acetyl-CoA molecule down to release two molecules of carbon dioxide. And now we want to regenerate the oxaloacetate so that we can continue in this cycle, continue eating away at acetyl-CoA, which we're producing uh, from glycolysis and from uh, the link reaction. Okay, so, uh, the next enzyme that's going to act is, again, a reversible process, basically. It's going to uh, convert fumarate uh, into what's known as malate, and this enzyme is going to be fumarase. And basically, it's going to use a water molecule to break uh, this double bond between uh, those two carbons in the center. So we'll bring in our water molecule, so I'll bring in our water here, and what we're going to do then is uh, we're going to put uh, one alcohol group in and one hydrogen in. Okay, so what you can imagine doing is breaking the second of these two bonds between those two carbons, give one electron back to each of the two carbons, then you can imagine breaking the water molecule, okay, give one electron back to the oxygen, one back to the hydrogen, then behind the oxygen, with its hydrogen here, this alcohol group, onto this carbon here, okay, and what you end up with is like so, okay, so here's this first carboxylic acid group, then you've got this second carbon with an alcohol group coming off it, and I'll just move this up, uh, you've then got hydrogen also coming off that carbon, the third carbon, it had one hydrogen already, but now it's going to get another one off this hydrogen here. So it has a free electron, so does that hydrogen, will bind the two together, like so. And then we have this uh, carboxylic acid group over here. Okay, so this molecule that we now have here is known as malate. Okay, or malic acid, if you like. Uh, and again, this reaction uh, catalyzed by fumarase here is a reversible reaction. Now we're nearly there now, we've only got one final reaction which is going to convert this back into oxaloacetate. Okay, so let me draw again the structure of oxaloacetate. So remember, oxaloacetate was four carbons long, it had a carbonyl group off this second carbon, a methylene group in this third carbon's position, and then a carboxylic acid group as our fourth carbon over here. Okay, and this was oxaloacetate here. Okay, so, uh, basically, um, all we need to do is convert this carbon here, which has an alcohol group and a hydrogen coming off it, into a carbonyl group. And the way we'll do that is by breaking the bond between this oxygen and this hydrogen here, breaking the bond between the carbon and the hydrogen here. Imagine giving one electron back to each of the two members of this, uh, of each of these bonds. And then this carbon will have a free electron, this oxygen will have a free electron. Bind those two again together to make a second bond, which will convert that from a single bond to a double bond. And now you've got two hydrogen atoms left over, so what are you going to use? You're going to use nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide uh, to mop those up. So in comes a molecule of oxidized NAD, and it will be, it will be converted to a molecule of reduced NAD. Okay, and this en the enzyme which catalyzes this reaction is malate dehydrogenase. Okay, because again, we're removing hydrogen atoms from uh, malate, so it's malate dehydrogenase. Okay, and then we have completed the cycle. We have regenerated the oxaloacetate molecule, which is why this is called the citric acid cycle, because it is fundamentally a cycle. Okay, so this will continue to go on and on and on because we're never going to run out of oxaloacetate because it's always regenerated uh, by the uh, tricarboxylic acid cycle or the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle, whatever you want to call it. Now, what's the overall product 
of uh, the citric acid cycle. So let's take a step back and tot up what have we actually produced here. Well, we know we must have produced two molecules of carbon dioxide because that was the only way we got rid of the carbon atoms from the original acetyl-CoA molecule that we brought in. So we know we've produced that, but what else have we produced? Well, we produced this one molecule of guanosine triphosphate, so we'll add that on. We produce this one molecule of reduced flavin adenine dinucleotide, so FADH2 here. And how many NADH molecules did we produce? Well, there's one here produced by malate dehydrogenase. Then we'll work our way back. Uh, we also produced one via alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase and also from isocitrate dehydrogenase. We didn't produce any before that because remember before that it was just uh, a conotase which was uh, changing uh, uh, citric acid into isocitric acid. Okay, so we also produced three molecules of reduced NAD. Okay, now Firstly, the GTP can be used as a direct energy source, so we've generated that, that's very nice. And FADH2 and NADH are then going to be used by the electron transport chain complexes uh, to produce ATP later on. Okay, and we'll continue that discussion in the next video, which will be on the electron transport chain.